Welcome back to more Blossom Tales 2, everybody. So in the last episode, we uh, basically ended up in this dungeon, and we're actually pretty close to getting through it. Just a couple more things that we gotta, you know, do here and there. But let's see, I think the only way to do this... It would have to be like that. I can shoot that one like that, and I can move this one to the right side, push this one left, and then push this one also left. I guess I can cross that one over. I think I'm doing this right, hopefully. Okay, which way do I want to aim that one? I think it would have to be like that, because if I go... Yeah, that one would have to go like that, so I have to turn this one over. Uh, then turn that one down like this. Uh, actually, no, this one has to go down. There we go, I think I did it. Okay, that was not too bad. I believe there's like a third puzzle of this, which we'll get into in a little bit, but yeah, pretty good so far. Okay, so let's just avoid those spikes, go around them. Okay, so here you gotta watch out for those things. There's gonna be a lot of stuff shooting at you. Okay, we're gonna lower those. Oh boy. Okay, be very careful with that. And then go over here. We're gonna hit this. There's a treasure here, which we'll take, and there we go, that's the first of two. The blue gem sparkle in the torchlight, it was fashioned in the shape of a lidless eye. Perhaps it fits into the skull door's empty eye socket. Yeah, perhaps. Okay, let's go and... Oh, what? Oh, shit, we got some pirates here? Oh, okay, that's not bad. They're pretty simple. Okay, door opened. Let me go over here and grab some stuff here, maybe I can get some hearts. No, hit the thing. Well... That's that. Okay, let's turn over to the right now. And uh, now we're going to go to the other side, over here on the right side. Okay. What the hell? Get him, get him. Okay, wasn't too bad. Shoot, this guy's just throwing their bombs right at your face, huh? Okay, now this one. Oh, first of all, there's actually a thing right here to bomb. And this leads to a piece of heart. Nice. Okay, just grab all this stuff here. And this room here, this is the, this is the hardest of these puzzles. Mainly because in this one, there's actually stuff. Like, you see those wooden walls? Like, they're always little hidden things right there. They're going to be shooting stuff at you. You gotta be careful. Okay, so let's see. I'm gonna go like that. Um, <clears throat> hit that one like that. Okay. Oh, sure. They didn't mean to do that. Okay. So that one, I'm gonna turn it like this. And this means that I think... Okay, well, this one... These two, I'm gonna go ahead and do them like that. Oh my god. So that means that this one over here, I have to hit it like... Well, no, not like that. I think I would have to move it like towards that direction. And then this one, I'm gonna have to turn it like this. And basically go from this side. And I think that's it. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Make it launch up. And basically in here, wait, do I have to go down? I mean, I think so. I don't know what else I would do. I'm not really sure where I'm... Oh, over here, over here. Got it, got it. Okay. Okay, then in this room... Um, I'm gonna have to go down, there's no other way. And we've pretty much seen this puzzle before, we're just gonna have to, uh, you know... Okay, I'll kill this guy. Just so he doesn't get in my way. Oh, I'll take that. 17. 
And we're going to hit that one. Now we can go around through this side. And there we go. Okay, this next room. Okay, a couple squids in here. Or are those octopus or squids? I don't even know. I see a treasure up there. Let's hit these barrels to get some hearts, possibly. There we go. Okay. And open this treasure. And there we go, that's the second one. Lily held a green gem in her hands as she stared back at her. Now she could proceed through the skull door. Ah, yes. Okay, so with that we basically completed the dungeon. But I think there's actually one room left that I do want to go ahead and um, go back to. It does involve some backtracking, so I will go ahead and guide you over there. If you go through it, you get taken to a treasure room. Look at this. There's four treasures in here. And they're basically all just money. And there's some pots in here which will grant you more money as well. Which is very nice, of course. Very, very nice. And we're almost at a thousand. At a thousand money. But yeah, that's it. That's all I wanted to show you. To the boss, yes, to the boss. We'll grab some more coins here, up to 930. Oh wait, we gotta we gotta insert them. I think we just go right there. Insert the blue, insert the green, and putting both will in fact open the door, which means we can get through. After braving many dangers, our young hero finally reached the heart of Morkless shell. Well, this is full of water. If I were Lily, I'd throw a rock in there. Yeah. Oh, ho, ho, you know, there are times when it is best not to disturb the... Rock, rock, rock. Throw a rock. Fresh flesh. The pirates steadily pet octopus emerge from the waters, ready to follow orders. Squeeze, tear, devour. Okay. So basically... Um, just like the other battle, what you basically want to do here is throw a bunch of bombs. You know? You want to be definitely very aggressive. Shoot. Just dish out some damage. Eventually, um, yep, it's going to get flooded. And what you essentially have to do is go around these things and hit all of these switches. I recommend not hitting all the barrels and stuff until you need the health, because you will need the health. Trust me on that. It's a bit of a difficult battle to do without healing because there's a bunch of tentacles flying around everywhere and it's just kind of a mess, you know? Okay, here we go. So then, yeah, just get aggressive with the bombs while, you know, you keep moving, moving. Okay. Keep dishing out that damage. Oh, shoot. Damn it. So it's, it's a pretty tricky one there. Oh, there we go. Okay. It's going to raise it up again. Um, I'll definitely do this so I can get some hearts. Uh, that should be good enough right there. So that's one. Yes, yeah, this is why it's hard. Like, it's really hard to, you know, not take damage here because all these things are everywhere. Like, yeah, you have your dash, you know, which you do want to, of course, implement. But at times, like, just the angle and the bad luck, there's going to be times where taking damage is just inevitable. Like, oh my god, look at that right there. Like, see that? That's crazy. He doesn't have too much health left, though. Should be able to get him. Yeah, that's it. See? We got him. And we get a full heart container for that. And we also get... Something amazing. Oh. Oh. Oh, no. He's going to sneeze again. Achoo! And there we go. And we got launched out. Well, that's a great way to, you know, get shortcutted out. Not that it matters, but we feel better. And why are you still sneezing? We're allergic to something. Children, perhaps. I found a key inside you, but it looks broken. 
That is right, the key was broken long ago. Yes, by heroes to stop the Minotaur King from returning, they give Morkala a piece for safekeeping. One day, we forgot what it was and, and ate it. Where can I find the next piece? It doesn't matter to us, we don't care. If that were true, then you just tell me. Aha, clever girl. Head west to the sunken canyons. There you will find another piece of the key. Or don't, nothing matters. Everything comes and goes, except us. Alright. Well, we did that, you know, that dungeon, that chapter. That's pretty cool right there. Um, I'm gonna take this. So basically, um, now we have access to all these swimming areas around here. However, I don't think I can... Okay, so I have to go up there. Let me check the water over here. Where is this going to take me? See, this is the part that's a little complicated because I thought that if I want to get... Hmm. Let me see here. Let me see what's over here. Oh, there's one of these. Okay, well, we'll definitely do that. It's four out of six. Pretty good, pretty good. Okay. Now, where is the... Oh my god, why am I so zoomed out? Jesus. Um, yes, you know, that's actually too high up. I definitely have to go lower, I think. Oh, I see what I have to do. Well, I'm glad I did this, but... I just threw him into the freaking water. That's so funny. Yeah, so in order to open that, I have to come from around, which I don't even know if I can from this side. We'll have to see what I can do specifically, but... Okay. What about up here? This will take me to a new section over here. I mean, there's not too much I can do beyond this. So I'll just go and do it now. I do want to equip the shovel here. So I can get some more money and stuff. Pretty useful. Okay. New stand. That's very nice. Okay, another one of these things. Let's go ahead and dig that up. Okay, so these here, as you know, um, you can basically light them up, but I don't think we can do much in this area because if we end up exploring it, you'll actually see that, see how it is all basically a dead end? There's a pathway up there, but we have to break the rock from the other side to be able to go. That's the game's way of basically ability gating us. Um, we're not able to get through there. And we can come down this side. But again, yes, there's not much I can do there. So that's unfortunate. So it's gonna have to go over here. I think there should be, oh, let's see, anything up there? Nope, definitely nothing. All right, so we will, we're gonna hit these. Okay. It keeps being so zoomed out. Here's a treasure. We'll take the treasure. Just more coins? Okay, not bad. Let's go to the right, which is where we just were. And now... Okay, let's break that. There's another treasure there. Okay. We'll open this for some more coins. Okay, and then we can light up that thing there. And then that one too. Okay, that takes care of everything on this side. So we can't open that thing until we light up all the torches, but we're not able to do this until we have a certain ability that will let us light up the one inside. And basically the hint is the bow. It's not really spoiling anything because you kind of already know. Especially if you play the first Blossom Tale. But that's kind of how it goes. You use the bow, you know, because it's inspired from Zelda where you shoot it through a freaking fire thing and that's how that works. Alright, but yeah, so it would basically be that one. See this one up here? You would light up that one and then shoot a bow to the left and that's how you would get through, but yeah. There is a fast travel thing there, but I'm not going to take it. I actually want to go over to the left. Okay. Because in here, we'll see that I ended up not getting this treasure, but this is going to go back to an area that we were already in earlier, you may remember this. So there's a honeycomb piece, there's ten of these, and then the knight pulled the golden honeycomb out. But some bees would be interested. Would be interested, that's fine. But yeah, you might remember this, it says uh, really early on in the area. So that's, you know, kind of nice right there. 
Uh, oh, there's this here. We will definitely dig this. Oh wait, we have the wrong thing. Okay, so we have to figure out all the different areas we can now go to now that we have this swimming ability. Plus the bomb as well. We didn't really explore a lot of areas in here. We only had the bomb, so I'm going to have to you know, look around here and see what I can find. But I don't know why it keeps zooming out now. What the hell? Um, I know there was an area. I think it's a little more to... Oh, here it is. This one. Okay. We're going to bomb this area right here. It's a little cave. And it's basically another giant treasure room, as you can see. We're getting so much money from this. More mushrooms, too. We'll definitely take that. Alright, and that's it for here. Lots of money. Okay, we're also going to go to... I'm going to have to check out the bottom left section as well. Um, trying to think of what exactly I can do here. Because I know that I also want to go to the bottom right, but I'm going to have to just, for now, just honestly pick a pathway. And then just, you know, go from there. So I will... Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Let's go down... I should probably go to the town, actually. Yeah, the town is directly south. So let's do that. What was that? Oh, no, never mind. I don't need that. Okay, let's go south, because there's definitely a couple things I can do here now. Well, I can't open the pathway from up there, because there's nothing in there, that's fine. But there is... Okay, the shop. I do want to go to the shop. Which is right over here. And I would like to buy this energy crystal for 250. And I also want to buy this empty bottle for 150. Now we have an extra empty bottle. Pretty good. I guess I can also give you some fish. Only of their first time though. There we go. Because I know he's going to want all the fish. You know, he's got to collect them all. Wait, that, that's all I have? Yeah, that is. I don't want to give you any more. That's... no. Definitely not. Okay, the other thing I'm going to do is, I mean, should I try to fish here? Because, like, I need to capture these other types of fish. I just don't know if the other species are even located here. Like, I really don't know. That's the same one of those. That's not going to be anything special. Hmm. There probably isn't any more new ones in here. We got to go to different areas and fish in those areas. They're all, I mean, these are the same ones, so. Yeah. That's not going to work. Okay, let's go. Let's go down. I think Stan is going to be over here. Yeah. We can trade the next thing with you, I believe. Yes, we can. We will trade that. Oh, shoot. We want five of those, so I need to get collect more of those then. I do need some of those because there's that little boy that I think I can also... I think I have access to all the shells now so I can give him the stuff for the quest as well. But I'm trying to think of what else I actually need to do because I know there's lots to do here. Um, yes, I'm actually pretty close by over there. But I also need to make my way down to the bottom right corner anyway. Are there any shells in here? Well, not really. Okay, let me talk to the boy again. Just so I can see what type of shells you wanted again. Yeah, so I do have them. I just need to find five of those green ones that I actually just used up, unfortunately. So let's figure that out then. Um, we're going to go all the way around. Because I know they can spawn on the right side. I mean, in fact, we'll even take this here, but let me see something here. I don't believe there's anything... No. It's not really much I can do over there. Or down. We'll just take this pathway, which... 
A lot of these places obviously serve as shortcuts, which is, you know, nice as well. Now that we have this, you know, water swimming ability. But I'm gonna have to check here to see if I can find those shells. No, I think I was only to go inside the actual ship. I think that's an area that I can go to. Yeah, like you can keep, I think, entering and exiting. And it will occasionally make those areas spawn, but let's go in here. Oh, it's another shop. Okay. Would you like to buy one of the items? Uh, yes, actually. We're gonna buy this energy crystal. What is this, by the way? I'd like to buy that there double damage potion that I found for 200? No. Quarter heart. Yeah, we'll buy this too. My god, so many shops. So much stuff to buy. Alright, that's uh, more stuff down that I got. It's pretty nice. You gotta remember that double damage potion for later. Okay, I don't see any shells spawning, unfortunately. And this is gonna be. Oh, wait, there we go. Yeah, never mind. But I need to do this. I'm gonna get four more of these green shells, which is not always easy. It's really not. Especially because sometimes the odds are. At least they seem pretty low. Well, there's another one. Okay, that's good. Oh, nice. We got lucky with the shells this time. You just have to keep zoning in and out until, you know, you get what you need. Anything over here? Uh, not really. There's this one, but I don't really need that. Whatever, I'll just grab it. It's fine. Let's keep going for it. Come on, I need some shells, please. I need some green shells. Damn it, I got nothing. I wonder, do they eventually stop spawning if you do this, if you try to abuse this? Actually, it might be very possible. I didn't really think about that. <laughs> like, does it actually? It might. I could also just go from the... Oh, what the hell? Oh, whatever, that's fine. No, I mean, there are more spawning here, so, like, it's fine. Yeah, what if we go here? Because if we go in this area, we're actually, like, right in the middle. Thing is, I don't even want those red ones anymore, like... There's a starfish, which is actually kind of... Good to have, I suppose. Oh, we already have 19. I thought I only had, like, 10. That'll be useful for later on, that's why I was mentioning that, but it seems like the green shells are pretty rare, unfortunately, so if I'm not having any luck, what I'm actually going to do is do a cut until I get five of these. Okay, I am back, and we got the five. Just, you know, again, I did that same strategy the whole time, and it took a while. I had to, like, reset the room 10 to 15 more times, and I finally got the stuff, so here you go. It's so great. Wait, you'll see. It's going to be amazing. Okay. Take me a minute to build it, though. Do I have to, like, go inside and back out? Oh my god, of course another one spawns in here now. Are you serious? That's so freaking stupid. Okay. Whatever. Yeah, I don't know if it actually is time-based or if I just have to, like, go inside and back out. Let's see. Oh, there we go. He built it. Oh my god, it's humongous. We can actually enter it. Whoa. Did that turn out great? Look at these walls. What great form. You can have the chest if found in the sand. This cove is a treasure trove. All right, we're gonna take all this stuff. Hell yeah, what's in here? A piece of heart. Nice, very nice, okay. So that's another thing we can just check off the list now. That's pretty nice. Um, okay, so now what is next? Because now that we've done that, oh, actually there's one thing that I definitely wanna do. So I have to make my way back up to the top. Okay. This is where it's gonna get a little complicated, but I want to get a treasure chest that's somewhere up there. So let's see. If we go... It keeps zooming out all the way. I don't know why it's doing that. It wasn't doing that before. Okay, so if we basically go from... 
think it would be from around here. No, I'm actually not sure how to do this. No, it's not that. Hmm. I think it might be up here. Can you go in here? You can. That's how you do it. Okay. Yes, that's how you get this treasure. Okay, I was trying to figure this out, but there we go. Got the treasure. It's only money, but I did want to show that off in case any of you were wondering. Alright. So with that, uh, now I think we can go and explore the whole bottom left area. Because that's what we haven't explored yet. We've pretty much explored everything else, or at least most things. There's a little bit of stuff around there that we can't do, but or that we will do, but we have to explore down here first. So let's just make a run for it. I'm going all the way down. Go like this, and I think here I may want to go... Let's go left, actually. Let's go left and see what's over here. Okay. So in this area, if we go left and then I think I may want to go down. Wait, can I go up? Can I go here? No, I can't. Okay. There's no way to get up to the top from here. There's like water there, but I mean, there's no way to swim. I have to go down and left. I think that's the only way to do this. So yeah, that's what I'll do then. Hello again, Stan. Oh, they didn't even talk about the next thing, right? I don't think. But yeah, he wants the items that we don't have access to yet, so we're just going to have to leave that for now. That's fine. Okay, so in this area... I couldn't go here before because of these bomb things. Oh, I never actually even did this. What the hell? That's number five. That's pretty nice. I'm gonna go break that now. And then from here we can go... We can go left, but there's not really gonna be much in here. There's a chest down there, but I think the only way to actually get there is essentially to go around. Actually, can I jump down here? Oh, I can. I, I can jump down. I totally can. Whoops. That is not the right thing. There we go. Then we can open this chest here. Which has more money. There's a swimming thing there that we can do. I think I may want to do that because, uh... Yeah, I never actually went to the left. I can't believe I actually missed that completely. But that's where that leads, right over there. I'm just wondering if I should do the swimming thing now. Or if I should keep going up. I guess I'll just do the swimming thing now. Let's, let's do this. There's a lighthouse down there, but we'll go down there in a bit. I want to go up here first. Let's see if I have this correct. Because I think I'm missing something over here. Oh, I could just go up this way as well. Okay. I see. So, let's check out this graveyard area here. Okay. I don't think I can interact with any of these things here. At least I'm pretty sure I can't. Hopefully I'm not wrong about that though. Alright, let's make our way up. I'm just kind of seeing. I'm going to hit all this grass to see if I can find some secrets. Yep, just such as that right there. Oh great, you stupid freaking pirate. Okay, nothing else in there. Let's go this way. Nothing there either, so we'll just keep going. Okay, this leads to... I believe to this area I've already been to. Yeah, okay. This I want to do. Shortcut unlocked. Back to the town. Okay. Whoops. And then I can't do anything over there now. Going up here, this leads back to this area that I also never went to. Actually, I don't think I could have done that before. Here's a second honeycomb. 
So yeah, that's one of the things I definitely wanted to do. Um, let me check up here. I can do anything up here. I don't know if I can, but I like to check. There is this, so I will definitely do this at least. I can dig up some stuff here, but there's no point in falling. It'd just be a waste of time if I end up having to go around when I don't need to do that. Okay. So I think I am free to just go back now. I'm pretty sure. Hopefully I didn't miss anything. And then here I'm gonna go... No, I already did all that. I have to go in that school. See that school over there? You can actually enter that. But you have to go from the water. So I'm going to grab... Um, or go through, I should say, one of these... One of these swimming areas over here. Like this one. And then we do have more stuff on the left to explore, but I think, actually, let me also fish here because I want to see if I can get, like, different fish from here. Actually, yeah, that's a different type of fish right there. Okay. That's good. Is that a new one? I don't think that's a completely new one. Because, I again, I caught two other different types of fish before. And that's the same one. Oh, wrong one. God damn it, I keep accidentally doing that. Okay, let's stick this up. I think it might be time to get through there now. I mean, there's more stuff I can fish here. Okay, throw your damn thing, please. There we go. I just, I know I'm just gonna capture fish because there's gonna be another quest. Are you kidding me, dude? Oh my god, are you seriously? Okay. Get over here, you stupid pirate. Do you really want to die? I think you do. I just bomb the crap out of you. You stupid. I'm getting the same ones. Hmm. I kind of just wanted... I was curious to see what is new, but... There's not a huge variety here. That's, that's a different one. I just don't know if I already caught that one before or not, you know? Yeah, we'll go ahead and stop it there. Okay. So let's see here. I do want to go to that skull that I keep talking about, so I probably should do it now before I keep advancing. Actually, I may have a better idea. Okay, because down here, this leads to the lighthouse. Oh, there's this here. Let's go ahead and dig some stuff up. Oh, there we go. I'm gonna leave that guy there. That's fine. I don't need to fight him. Let me see if there's any more stuff that I can... I can go up there, but before I do that, I'm gonna come down here. Towards the lighthouse. There's a treasure here, which we'll grab. Okay. Ooh, I wonder, can I reach this? That is wrong. Actually, no. Dang, I thought you could reach that. Not exactly. Okay, that's... That's unfortunate, but oh well. But there's somebody here that wants a bunch of fish, and I just don't think I have anywhere near enough. So. A visitor, uh-huh. Huh. huh. If you fish me up some grub, I'll let you in a little secret. Yeah, see, I can get those, though. Like, I do have the capability of getting those fish. I just need to... fish some more. You know? That'll be important to get. I just gotta find some, uh... some fishing spots. 
This might also be something I just go ahead and do a cut, because the fact that I've already already gotten these fish, at least one of, of these three, it just shows you that it's really just a matter of grinding, to be honest, like getting that many fish, you know? So, I think that's what I'm gonna do. Oh shoot, I went way too far there. There's another one of those, okay. Alright, let's go to the left now. Oh, stupid bee, get over here. Oh wow, the last one's over there, okay. I see. Uh, let's bomb these things if we can. Oh, there's a treasure, perfect. And there's more of these rare shells that I couldn't find before, but now I... Now I can. Okay, and that's a shortcut from the top that I gotta set up. Okay, here we're gonna switch back to shovel. Dig that up for some more coins. The frog got smiles upon you. And we get a piece of heart for doing that, yes. So basically, if you think about it, doing all 24 of the statues will actually net you a full heart container essentially. So, that's kind of cool. Okay, now we're going up this way, because I would like to see where this takes us. Okay. Oh, a bomb thing. Okay, let's go ahead and blow that up to get through. Another secret treasure room. <clears throat> Look at that. I love these rooms. They just give you so much money, you know? Like, I love it. I do love it. I'm gonna break that too. Anything with money, I'll take it. And the last one. There we go. Okay. Let's see. I can keep going to the left. Or I can go do the skull thing finally. I probably go, should go through the skull thing now. I've definitely held it off uh, for long enough now. And I think it's finally time to do it, you know? Is there a pathway up? Uh, I don't think there is, actually. I think you have to go from here. I'm almost certain. I have to fish more. I gotta find those stupid fishing spots. All, the, all these fish I gotta capture. Let's go, let's go, here we are, we made it. Okay. This area is actually a little tricky because there's a bunch of these squids in here. And you can't actually do anything aside from just trying not to get hit, you know, but you're pretty vulnerable. Oh crap. Okay. Shoot. I think we're doing pretty well though. Okay. Oh my god, that one almost got me. You just gotta find the openings, you know? There we go, we made it. So anyway, all of this... ...leads to... ...a treasure. What could this be? More coins, perhaps? No, it's actually a piece of heart. Another one. We'll take it. Okay, and this actually takes us to the cave where, um, this is actually really early in the area, the one that you couldn't access because if you try to look everywhere around here, you actually never found an opening to get there. Like, it would always be up above on the ledge and then you're like, what the hell do I do, you know? Because it was always closed off, but, yeah. Uh, so now we do actually have to make our way back down there somehow, since we're not actually finished. I hope it doesn't... You know, I hope it's not too complicated, but I also want to catch those fish. So give me a sec as I meet you somewhere over there. Hmm, we got a gem right there. That's pretty good. We're actually up here in this top right corner. We got a new one here. We got a shark fish. I'll show you where we are at. 
We're in that area right there. Sharkfish. Okay, so I think with that, we actually have uh, at least five of everything that we need. So, let's see. Did I get the right ones? I did, yeah. At least five of those. Okay, perfect. I'm gonna give that to you. So you could, oh right, a while back I found a bottle with the map. I had directions to a buried treasure nearby. The map showed five trees arranged in a X. The treasure was buried at the base. Okay. On the map, the buried treasure was at the base of five trees arranged in an X. Got it, got it, okay. Well, that's something that we'll have to be figuring out uh, later. Okay, so one thing that I should show is that these things here, these little pegs, that's going to be an upgrade for later on, which is why you can't cross pits like that. You can kind of assume what kind of Zelda-like weapon that's going to be, but I'm not going to, um, you know, talk about that yet. Uh, we did get into a new... Oh, that's kind of cool. Okay, that's nice. We found a new one, a new fast travel thing, which is nice. We probably need it, you know, to be around here, so... I'm going to kill this pirate here. So over here is actually a little island. This is different terrain. This is actually back in the first island terrain, as you can see. Um, but that's one out of six for that new type of statue, so that's something that we will definitely look at um, later, like explore that area, but not yet. I think there's still a little bit more I want to do for um, this one over here, like this area, this terrain, this world, I guess you can say. Okay, let me kill this guy, there we go. Any stuff here? There actually is. Okay, we will open that. There's another gen that puts us at 17. Um, let's see here. Anything? Not really. We'll keep going, I guess. Oh, shoot. Got some stuff to bomb here. And, oh, we gotta get this flower. That's a new one. Oh, that's kind of cool. Okay, wasn't expecting that. This freaking frog just jumped me. Oh my god. On the spawn, too. Oh, there we go. We're getting new items here. It's kind of cool. Um, but this does actually, you know, end this pathway, as you can see. Because it's going to lead to a new direction very soon. But I don't think we can actually really do... What the hell? We can do anything yet, I'm pretty sure. Let's take a look. We're going to just keep hitting stuff here and see what we can find, if anything. Now over here there's a sleeping mermaid, zzz, which is blocking a freaking treasure, but we can't do anything about that, so we're just going to have to let her sleep for now. We'll come back here later with an ability that will actually let us get through. And, oh, this over here, oh no, I can't do that, my bad. That's, that's right. That's from the other side. Hmm, we found another one here, in this area pretty close to the lighthouse, so we're just getting a bunch of gems and stuff here and there. Pretty good, pretty good. Okay, I'm pretty much done exploring this entire area. I think we got everything for now. So what I'm going to do is actually warp back to um, this area over here. I think so. Hopefully I got everything that I was, you know, looking for. Um, it'd be nice if I did do everything, you know, indeed. But anyway, we're back in this area. So there's actually plenty of things to do uh, back here. So the very first thing is... You know, being back in this area, there's actually a fair amount of stuff that we gotta do. Uh, I don't think I... Uh, yeah, there's nothing there. No, nothing there. But there's plenty of other stuff. So, for example, first of all, if we go... I think it's... This one doesn't have anything, right? No, it doesn't. There's plenty of buildings that we want to do stuff in. The very first thing I want to do, though, is I'm going to go over here into the blacksmith area. Okay, now that I'm getting shipments from Anchor Town again, I can make you a bow. It'll cost you. Okay, so once, you know, once you get to this part of the story, you actually have to do this to advance to the next part of the game. You're gonna get a bow, but it's like, oh, I gotta actually make it first. Okay, let's leave. And then go back in. I think you should be ready. Finish your bow. Oh, there we go. Perfect. A strong bow, mighty and true. The life was not a threat to our enemies, even at long distances. Whoa. Now that's crazy. Yeah, that's very crazy. Okay, um, I think what I'm gonna do is... Okay, that's the... Yeah, we don't need to do anything there. Let's go into regular shop. Because I believe there's stuff we can do here. Such as buying this energy crystal for 250. 
and I'm buying this empty bottle for 150 as well. We're just using up all our damn money, huh? That is crazy. Okay, so we're done in here for now. The next thing I need to now do is go into the, um, oh yes, the freaking trading post area, or whatever you call it. There we go. I delivered it. Uh-huh. Okay, now Sunkiss Canyons. That's the next person I need to go to. Next delivery. Sure. That's what we'll do next. That is actually where we're going to be heading in next time. In this video, I'm just uh, finishing up a couple of things that I can do here. You know, to wrap things up a little bit here. Um, but let's see. I think what I'm going to want to do is... I, I think, actually, there's a boulder over here that we can break. Yes, there is indeed. Oh, there we go. Just some more, just some more cash, you know. I'll take that. Okay. So, I don't believe there's anything else specifically down in this section, so I think what I'm going to do is I have to basically go up and left somewhere, so... Well, not from that side. I have to take this pathway up to the left and then go from... I think this will be... Oh yeah, there's also things to actually dig up now in a lot of areas. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did everything here for now in the town. I could be wrong about that, but we'll see later. There's a cave that I've already been to in there. Then there's, let's see. No, I went over there. I can swim that way to the left. And there's also boulders in here that I can break. Here's a second statue out of six. Okay, two out of six, not bad. I think I can dig up here. I just want to clear all the grass just in case I find anything here. No, okay. Well, let's keep going. We're gonna go up. And just kind of keep clearing grass here to see if we can find some stuff to dig up. Yep, there's one. Oh, yes. Here we got a rat. Okay, what else? There's some fishing spots here, which might be a good idea to be fishing there eventually. And then there's... Okay, here you do need the bow for this. Basically, you have to hit all four of these pretty fast, actually. Let me clear out the boxes first before I, you know, get into any of this. And I also want to, um... Refill my energy all the way up and don't roll when you're doing this because you need your energy for the bow There we go That's it and that will give us a piece of heart another one nice nice I'm getting a lot of hearts from this Okay, that wasn't too bad um, There's a pathway to go up there to the top down here. I don't think there's really anything just uh, that yeah, that's I'm not really gonna do anything. This pathway over here, I think it's blocked by more boulders, I'm pretty sure. Or something? Let's see what it was. Actually, no. That's definitely not true. I thought it was, but no. That's just another one of those fast travel things over there. Okay, well, there's not much we can do there. Yeah, there's really nothing in here. Okay. That's fine. Which means what I'm gonna do now is go... I'll just go up. That's really all that's left that I can do right now. Another one of these things here. Okay, let's go ahead and re-equip the shovel. Then we'll... That... What the hell? That was a glitch. The, the, the dig registered because you saw the hole. But because I got hit, even though it registered, it didn't actually dig. Despite it saying that it did dig. That was weird. Okay. Let's dig that up. There's another one of those. Okay, now we got some... What the hell are you doing, Lily? Okay, anything in here? Uh, no? Oh, who are you? Hello again, the race was so popular at the fair, I decided to set up a permanent stand. Oh, we gotta do this race thing. Okay, sure. Yeah, why not? This was actually not, I mean, he says it's much harder, but it's really not. It's pretty simple for the most part. Oh, I should have jumped. I'm such a stupid, stupid ass, seriously. Go. What the hell? Okay, I'm not doing good. I might actually fail this. I actually could very well fail this. Get away from me. Get away from me. No, I think I got this. I'm pretty sure. It'll be pretty close. 
two. Wow. One second to spare? I messed up a couple times. For that, we get an energy crystal. Nice. Okay. And let's see here. I'm going to just okay, cut all this stuff here in case there's anything to find. Not really, though, so we'll just uh, go ahead and okay, finish that up there. I guess I can go up to the top here. Just see what I can find. Another flower. I'm just looking for any diggable spots, you know? If there's anything, but not really finding anything. Let's go over here to the right. I think this will be blocked off. Oh, I'll do this, sure. That's number three. That's something at least, even though there's not much else I can do here, but I'm glad I did that at least. I can also dig here for some coins. Okay, not bad. And let's see, I can go, yeah, we can go up north, which I think there's a little bit of exploration I can do here. Okay, let's just cut a bunch of stuff here. Whatever we find, really. I know there's not going to be too much else I can go to, like, in terms of advancing in this area. Yeah, so, like, that's blocked off, as you can see, by that ability that I keep talking about, which we'll be getting eventually. So I can't do that for now. Can I go over here? Oh, yes, I can. This leads to, a, like, a secret, almost, over here. Okay. A path in the trees all the way through. Left a mushroom there, oh my god. Okay. And... Right over here, what could this be? It is... A honeycomb piece, that's number three. Okay. Yeah, I'll talk about those later. I don't want to spoil stuff, you know? Just like I didn't spoil the stuff about the statues until I actually got the first reward, and I said, oh yeah, this is what it is, you know? I just don't want to spoil stuff for all of you. Okay, and this over here, bought new plants lately, oh yeah, so this is the, this is the plant lady. Yeah, my first customer, okay, basically she's like, oh no, I forgot about the flowers. So you basically have to donate flowers to her, just like the fish guy. Um, just give one of every flower, and you'll, you know, the first time you give her a flower, you'll make a lot of money, because it's new. Just give her one of each. And she'll plant them, you know. There we go, I think I didn't miss any. Look how many are left. So we got about half of them done already. Not bad, but we can't really do much else there for now. Okay. Just trying to figure out what else I can do here. I don't think there's anything else I can do to advance further up north. This, yeah, I already tried to light up that. So no, there's nothing there. Uh, oh my god, I'm actually running out of time here. Wow. Definitely up in the 55 minute mark or something. But yeah, there's nothing else I can do on the right side either. So let me just go left. Just to wrap things up here a little bit. What the hell? Oh shoot. Oh yeah, I can't go from this side actually. But we'll see how I, I can do that very soon. I just have to go around pretty much. Okay. I'm just gonna drop down here. And then go down from the bottom like this. Or down to the bottom I should say. Okay, let me just go to the left here, because this is also a new area down this way. I'm also trying to get to a fast travel location, because I think there's going to be one here that we're going to get very soon, but I just haven't found it, you know? I really have not found it yet, which is unfortunate. Oh, we got another little wolf enemy there. We're going to dig this spot. We've got more money, of course, that's pretty nice. Okay, and then there's probably some places I can sail there. More of those grapple thingies, you know. It's over here on the left. Anything? Nope, nothing on the left. I don't think there's anything in here. Just making sure. Okay. Then we're gonna proceed up north, and here's another one of these plantable things, if you remember from early on in the game. Uh, you know, you give a hint like, oh, you can actually do something with that, but we still don't have the thing that, you know, we need to be able to do anything with that. There's nothing else in there. But we can at least blow up all this stuff here. Oh shoot. I don't think that's anything. Nope, it's not. Okay. And... Yeah, that's all done. Alright, well... 
I, I gotta find the time to stop, but I think- yeah, there's a fast travel right there. Perfect, perfect. Okay. Oh my god. Do y'all hear like a super loud car in the background? That was crazy. And that was like super distant, I still heard it. We got the new stand, okay. Not bad, not bad. And I think with that, we're basically done here in terms of exploring. There really isn't too much else that we can do. We can't even enter in there. We're not going to be able to. Like, I think we'll get a little cutscene. Lily stood in awe. She beheld the great labyrinth gates for the first time. She knew that it was going to without the powerful key made. Yeah, we need the key. Her quest continued. But there it is. That is actually where we have to go, you know, once we get the complete the key. But this is the little drop down thing that I was talking about. So, yeah. I'm gonna end it here because we've made the progress. I gotta edit this video down a fair amount. So, yeah, before in this video, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and turn on notifications if you enjoyed the video. I will see you all later. Bye bye, everyone. Have a great day.